Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator. Now the neighbouring farm has been very kind to us and given us this lovely tractor. So we need to take this opportunity to spend most of this episode using it of course and have loads of fun for it as we only got it for one day. So we have only got it for this one episode. So of course we have to be careful with it and try not to crash it like what I usually do. So let's take it to our field. Put the beacon on. Now, where is our field? I've been to this field quite a bit, so I should know where it is by now. Let's go up this way. And buy shop. Now this neighbouring farm has decided to give this to us for free so we didn't have to pay anything which is absolutely good. Yes I'm best friends with that neighbouring farmer. <laughs> so up the road we go. There's that highly expensive field. Very nice that they put a tractor sign there. It's like doing the tour of the map again. <laughs> oh, we have... Yep, there's that exit. Well, I've almost gone past that exit. Very good. Let's go back to our combine harvester and we shall begin the harvest again. As we drive through our sheep field. Here we are at the field. Now, Pippin's also you're only going to have this tractor for a day. I am going to just, well, replace it with the Master Ferguson. We're still going to keep the Master Ferguson tractor, obviously, because it's our only tractor. That'd be a bit of a silly thing to do. So we're just going to park it on the side here. There we go. Back into our tractor. Oh. And we shall begin. And yes, you can drive this thing backwards as well. I think that's when you're mowing the grass and stuff like that. So, let's begin the harvest again. Let's get back into our combined harvester. Start it up. And let's resume the harvest. Let's of course unfold it. Let's turn it on. And carry on with our harvest. Now I'm very pleased with how the other video went down. It got quite a bit of views, more than what I expected. I think it's our most viewed video in the now. Yes. It is. Which is absolutely amazing. Got loads of good comments from it. And yeah. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut ahead in the video until I'm about halfway through the field, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to cut ahead in the video and I shall see you when the field is half finished. For you it's going to be one second, but for me it's going to be half an hour. So, see you in a second. Okay everybody, so now you can just about see that we are we're about halfway in the field. I've been at this for about, oh, about 20 minutes of work I think. And the trailer is almost full, so I might as well just get up to maximum. So, got unload now. Maybe it'll get the maximum capacity and then we can go and sell it. Well, we won't sell it straight off. I'm going to wait till we get a best price at the stores. So it back into the borrowed tractor. And let's head to the farm and put it in storage. And as you can see, there isn't really much of a great demand for wheat. But yeah, 
I think we're just waiting for it to quit the mark before we sell it. Been busy working away in that field, listening to my tunes on the, on the base game radio. Look both ways, pull tint of ice. <laughs> And here we are, arriving at the farm. So it's just reverse in here and tip the trailer in there. Let's try to reverse it in there. There we go, just about in. And let's unload. I oh know it's unloaded on the side. Whoops! I didn't change it. Back door. Here we go. Unload. That's better. Been putting this into storage. You should be able to see. Yep, the amount of liters has gone up. Let's go back to the field and resume the harvest. Very handy having the little screw in there. Maybe when we get pigs in that, we can reverse the tanker in there and get free water for the local environment. Going into the sheep field again. I have to buy some sheep one day, they're quite simple. Back into the field. And let's unload the rest of the combine. Turn the beacon off. Get back into the harvester. Oh. All the grain. Put the pipe. Put the pipe in. And I'll see you when this field is completed, and then we'll row it all up into nice street lines so we can make some hay bales. And then I'll be using another mod, which will be a trailer and then we'll stack them up as that's a fault do we own a front loader go out no we don't own a front loader so it looks like we need to buy one of them oh dear money 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 going down the drain <laughs> so i'll see you when this field is done okay so we have almost finished the harvest we have only got just a oh <laughs> Mistake. We've only just got a little bit more to do, and as you can see, we are now full up. So let's go over to our tractor and unload for the second time in this video. I feel to be jumping ahead in the video quite a bit today. Unload. Oh, oh, as I crash into my trailer. <laughs> Not very good driving of me. Soon all that corn will be converted into money. But that's when we only get a great demand. Which might be a little while yet. Almost done. 10%. And there we go. So let's go and finish off this tiny bit of the in the corner here. And then we roll this field out and then bale it. And then we can work towards our animals. So 
fair. What do we need for them? So we need straw, we need water, we need, I think it should be potatoes, and then we need corn, I think that's for the pigs. And we need a bit of grass for the cows and sheep. I'm not actually too sure where the pigs require grass. I don't think they do. Well, I might be wrong on that. One of these days we have to cut that grass field so they can work for some sheep. Which will be a very nice addition to their farm. Let's just carry on harvesting up here and we'll go back down and then we're done. shape that you get left with. Well, I tend to get left with anyway. I think it's just the way that I house the field. The head of that down. Nice fresh jaw. One great big pile of straw up there. Almost looks like a mountain. Here we go, last little bit. Make too much of a mess with the store. Oh, looks like we've got one more little bit to do, and then that'll be still completed. Field completed. Let's turn the harvester off. Oh, let's <laughs> turn the harvester off. Put the pipe out. And travel back to our tractor and then load. So it's fold the header down, which the last person that used this forgot to do. Very irresponsible owner. Oh, poor, poor trailer, it's been hit so many times. Yeah, it's about to come by now, put the pipe in. And put it back onto the header trailer, and then we can go home. Well, let's try to put it on the header trailer anyway. So, that. I flipped this over one time. So, yes, I did it perfectly. Can you put straps on it? I don't think you can. No, you can't. Put the beacons on. And go home. We're not home to the farm. That always looks so tidy when it's all in nice straight lines. <laughs> that was close. I thought it was going to hit that poster. Go straight across the road. Look both ways. Well, <laughs> look one way. 
Do we own that field, I wonder? I think we do. Doesn't really say a field number. I've got a good place for this combine. As long as I don't forget where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it inside the shed here. Let's open up the door. There we go. Let's drive the combine in it. I should have reversed in, shouldn't I? I guess I've turned around now. Wow, this is a tight area to be turning around in. Um, do you think we could put the header in here as well? I think we could, do I? Put this to one side. Oh, don't crash into the wall. That would be a big assurance claim if we did that. We'll leave that open because we're going to put the head of in it. Let's turn the lights off. I'm going to save electric. Now, let's take the header back. Jump to the pickup truck. Oh, mine this big pile of straw. Oh, don't fall off header. Oh, oh no, what is it? I don't get on with this pickup truck. I really don't. <laughs> I keep progressing it. I haven't got a clue why. Across this bumpy track. Oh, and across the road. Any cars? Oh, I wait for this car to come by. And then I go. Quick, before the car comes. And let's put this back into the shed, where it belongs. Oh god, this is, this is going to be hard. Um, I'll just go for a tree then. Hmm, not very good. Can I actually get this in? Yes, I got it in. Like, there we go. Shut the door for security. We don't want our combine getting stolen. There we go. Put the pickup truck away. So let's park it in here. That would do. Now. Yes. Take this tractor back first. Then we'll unload the trailer and come back from the Mrs. Ferguson. And then we we'll start rowing it out. Which of course means leasing a, leasing a ring drone. Which means, again, more money disappearing from our bank account. Not good. Beacon on. I'm assuming it's clear the other way. <laughs> and here we are at the farm. Oh, I have a habit of doing that. It's very easy when playing on PlayStation. Well, it is for me anyway. <laughs> here we are, arrival at the farm. I don't know why the cab always comes on when I'm here. Is it up right? Yep, back door and unload. And then we'll wait for a great demand and then we can sell it. And get some well earned money. Oh. There we 
go. Let's turn it off. Oh, still signalling. There we go. And let's take the Mass Ferguson back. Then we'll come back with the wind drag and start rolling it up into nice neat poles. We can make some hay bales and then we can stack them up, hopefully nice and neatly. I'm quite good at stacking. Well, I say that, I probably fail in the video. It's usually the way. Let's just assume it's clear. <laughs> Here we are. Back at the farm. We've got a lot of tyres just sitting on the one side. The previous owner must have liked changing his tyres a lot. Oh, <laughs> very good on me. Real life, that whole shed would have collapsed. This looks a good place to put it. Now, back to the tractor, which we don't own. It's borrowed from another farm. It's just lucky that other farmer let us have it for free. He's a very kind, very kind gentleman. I still don't fully know my way around this map. It's this way. Not too far to go. Hello, Carl. 30 miles an hour. In fact, they've set the cruise control down to 30. So we don't make that mistake again. 40. There we go, 30. So we can't make that mistake. That's not 30, it's 29. 30. There, 30. <laughs> Past the graveyard. Where all the ghosts come out at night. And haunt Sandy Bay. Wahahaha. <laughs> We are a popular customer here. Let's go and lease the window for the window open them. <laughs> here we are. Let's go in. Um, hmm. Maybe the ghost is here from that graveyard. <laughs> Let's browse the catalogue. Where is it? There they are. That's what we want, and we go for the medium one. Wow. Um, very good money, sir. I'm going to accept your totally rip-off price for that winter. <laughs> there it is. Looking very detailed, like everything else on this map. It's attached to it. There we go. I suppose the price ain't too bad. In real life it's bad, but <laughs> it's farming simulator. Money's a bit different, isn't it? Here we go. At the start of this video I noticed I was driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Which is not very good. Lucky a car wouldn't come in the other way. There's that very British house. All the gates are rusty in this. We should maintain them. Well, the ones which we own, anyway. <laughs> Could have went in back there. Never mind, we're here now. We can begin rowing it up. Mind this big bump? 
which I usually flip the tractor up, which I don't think would be very good for the engine. Arrival at the field. So let's unfold. And let's turn it on. They look very dangerous. Wow, they do spin fast. Let us begin. Yeah, so it's going to take quite a long time with this field. But it'd be worth it. Because it's all going to help to work towards our animals. I don't think the sheep take straw. Do they? Let's see. Um, where are they? Animal page. Where are you? There you are. Sheep. Yes, they do take hay and grass and water. Pigs, well, they're, gre they're very greedy things. The cows are very magical because they take power food. <laughs> power food must make them super cows. They produce super milk. Well, I don't think it'd be so super that it comes out cold and drinkable. <laughs> That'd be nice to have a cow like that. <laughs> of course his heart sitting there. And it's be careful not to hit anything. I wish I could just go over those weeds. Squash them. That's what I said in the last episode. They might spread into our field. And that'd be hideous. We'll get weeds growing everywhere. <laughs> oh look, I missed a bit. Hmm. That's money gone. <laughs> Not good. Weird pattern. Can't have been much straw there. There's more weeds. Oh no. They're gonna spread. We have to put some weed killer on the side of our field. Almost completed our first headland. Then we can go up and down the field. Oh, what fun. <laughs> now it is totally fun to go up and down the field. Have we done this bit? I don't think we have. Let's just do it anyway. <laughs> of course, when we finish with this field, we'll shut those gates. Because leaving gates open can be quite annoying for me. Let's How did that spread? Then we put it down. Let's continue. You can already see, oh, I keep on teleporting that, I need to stop that. <laughs> and you can already see how much one needs to this field is looking. So it's all rowed up, ready for hay bounding. I hope you all like using this mod. I just thought it'd be nice to use a mod on it for a change. And, I, and in my head that local farmer had one. So I asked the boy which would they? And he went, yes, you can borrow my tractor for free. Honestly, I did. <laughs> Shift up, turn around. Let's go down this way, try not to mess up with that row. Put some freeze control on. Ah, what a luxury. Oh. Oh, going everywhere. There we go. Turn the crystal up a bit. And let's join up with this row. And go up this row. 
and make the field a whole lot more neater than what it used to be before. That looks a very big field. Oh, I think we actually own that field. So in the future, well, when we get a bigger combine, then we can harvest that one. Which will be a little while yet. I guess when you look at our bank account, her to a harvester, which are ridiculous amount of prices. Like this is the smallest one in the game. And look at that price. And and the next one out be the Massey Ferguson and that is well I'm not even gonna say how much it is. It's too much for my liking. Let's go up through the middle. Well not quite in the middle but Big lump of hay there. Hopefully we're going to produce a good amount of hay bales for our animals and for our bank account. Feeding the animals and feeding our bank account. Always good. There's the train track up there. Is there a train? I don't even know where there is a train that's in this map. I know there's one sitting at the station, but I don't know if it moves. Once I've hay bound this field and collected the hay bales, this case it rains, I'll have a little break from this field and we'll move on to a different job. Like maybe do some marrying and make some silage and yeah, feed the bank account. There we go. That needs to go down there. It's already one nice leak now. I always like it when they're filled to that yellow. I can never one time because when I knew where I live we have a field and one time they're trying to take yellow rape stuff there. <laughs> and I can remember one time my mum who we went through a walk with the dog and then of course the pathway was straight through the field. And of course back then it was all big and yellow and we didn't want to walk all the way back. So we braved it. We went through the field and we came back like a yellow monster. <laughs> I don't think the dog was very pleased with what we did, <laughs> but he soon recovered. Well, it's a good field to mow in the future. Where have I been? I think I've been up there. Let's just tidy up this area a bit. Oh, it's not right back. That would do. Actually, I will get a little bit. <laughs> That's going to annoy me. There we go. Let's just wait till we've done this. Lift it up. i never ever seen a lighthouse so high in a cliff before. Any boats? Not today. I think there is one sitting at the harbour. Throwing it all up, some nice neat rows. This has been such a nice tractor to use today. Hopefully we'll use it in the future, but the farmer only let us borrow it for one day. He does say that we could borrow it for two, but then we have to pay him some money, so you might as well just have it free. Which is 
still very nice of him. This is a very detailed tractor to the passenger seat there. So the buttons and controls. It's got a sunroof. It's the same, I can't actually open it. Almost finished the build. Actually, have we? I'm, I'm very confused here. I've gone everywhere and I'll probably make the work a lot more harder. But I think we just got up here to do. I hope this video is going to be long enough. So I was a bit conscious at first because I did skip ahead in quite a lot of the harvesting. So, but really, it took me quite a long time to do this field. I would say probably about half an hour to do this field. If I was to do field 20 with that field, it would probably take me about four hours, I'm guessing. It's a big field. There's more weeds. Oh dear. They're getting closer. It shouldn't affect our crop growth. Well, they will life, but... It's a game, after all. Although sometimes it does feel like real life, the amount of detail that's in this. Join these two up. And there we go. Let's turn it up. Fold it up. I think that's it. I haven't missed any bits, have I? No, it seems quite neat anyway from that little bit I missed us down there. Now I don't know how long this video is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a short video. But we shall return to this field on Sunday to do some hay burning. Lock the gate up. Oh, this one first. Let's look it up. There we go. Put the beacon on. The sheep has got lots of grass to chew on when we get them. Then they have to put up with me going in their fields every single day to get to that field. I hope they don't mind. So, I think the shop is this way. This way to the shop. And then we will give this tractor back to the other farmer. And I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, I think I am. Ah, I'm doing it again. Past the graveyard. <laughs> Very childish, showing my age. <laughs> I am quite young still. The new Holland dealer. Here we go. Open sesame. Now, where do you return them? There it is. So let's put the wardrobe in. There we go. And let's return it. Return. And there we go. I hope this video is quite long. But I'm going to bring the arrow farmer and tell him that it's okay to pick the tractor up and take it home. I don't know which farm this actually comes from. 
I think it comes from Gold Crest Rally. <laughs> the farmer that owns that one. <laughs> Which is another map that you can play on <laughs> in Farming Simulator. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I said I'm sorry that this video is a bit more shorter than usual. I'm hoping it's at least 10 minutes anyway. If not, then on Sunday we'll make a longer one and we'll do some bailing. We'll collect the bales. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on Sunday.